I have been working on my site easywebdesigntutorials.com. I created a new local site on my own computer in WordPress. The one I have today is not WordPress, so this will be a huge update of what I have today on my web page. So I have then added posts, plugins, pages, various media files, and everything that I need. So what I need to now is get this up to my web page. And the uh, easiest way to do that is to use a pl uh, plugin called Duplicator. So we'll go to plugins, add new, search for Duplicator, and I'm just going to add it right in. Duplicator will pack up the site and it will also include an installer file. Here we'll activate the plugin. So this is Duplicator 0.42. Duplicator has its own tab here. I'll go to the dashboard. You see it says here no packages found. To create a new package, enter a name and click the create button, which is button right here or the one up here. And create package set. This takes uh, just a few moments and it's basically just zipping the whole site, WordPress, and pages, and posts, and media. So then I can just download this to my desktop and the package. So show in Finder, and here I have that file, and then I need the uh, installer. I'm going to then upload that to easywebdesigntutorials.com because uh, right now uh, there is not a lot of material there it will make it a little bit easier for myself to add it in there so I'm using then forklift which is a really good FTP program I am then logged in to my Bluehost account so I'll just go into my public fo uh, folder here scroll down to easy web design tutorials okay this whole section here is the website I have today so that means I'm gonna put the installer before I put the installer up there I'm gonna remove the parentheses and one so it just says installer as it should so both of these files I'm just gonna drag that into Easy Web Design Tutorials then. It will copy it up there. In meanwhile, I need to create a database for this site. So I've logged into Bluehost, which is my hosting uh, provider. I'm scrolling down to where it says MySQL databases. So it's almost up. So right now I need to create a new database and I'm going to call this Easy Web. Create database. A new MySQL database. So I know it's called then Blue Win. Blue Win 1 Easy Web. That's the database name and I need a username I'm going to just call it easy and then a password for my user okay and create user So I'm going to have to change that later. Okay, so we have a new user called Easy. User Easy. And I'm going to add that to my database then called Easy Web. Okay, I'm going to need to do all privileges because WordPress needs that. Make changes. 
then go back so it should be on the list here easy web and blue one went easy so that is then in place so what I need to do now I have uploaded the two folders for the package and the installer it's right there and open up, open up a new tab go to easywinddesigntutorials.com forward slash installer dot php okay so we have the user or we'll start with the database name it's easyweb user and then easy okay so I have everything in place leave localhost as it should be and then I just added user password and then the database so next up here is then click here read this through you can click uh, various things here if you need to it should be okay now I'll do test connection so I did something wrong I need to also include this into the user I believe test connection and we have green light because this is my prefix from Bluehost I need that in the user and, and in the database name so we'll run deployment this just takes a few moments right now it's almost in place I'm just gonna uh, show you what easy web design tutorials looks like for the moment this is what it looks like right now and this is created in H uh, in the Dreamweaver and I got more control than with WordPress okay and I'm gonna do update table ills final steps looks like everything is in place I'm gonna do test the entire site this is the old site I'll get that in place in a moment I need to then change the index file from it so we'll just go in here I'm gonna do a refresh okay now it shows a lot more files in here and there is an index file I'm just gonna actually change that so it says old The index PHP is WordPress then. So okay, let's check the site now. Do refresh. Okay, so this is then the WordPress site. Uh, just a lot better than was earlier. So this is what I had earlier. Created in Dreamer. This is then created through WordPress. So it's kind of similar look and it looks pretty good so I test this site I'm going to resave permalinks that means I'm going to log into the site into the back end okay I'm just going to save it okay everything looks okay here uh, I'll just check it more later on and I'm going to delete installer files so what's important here is that installer that it that's the name of it and so you haven't changed it as I had uh, parenthesis one earlier keep it as installer.php all of these are green it has then clean it they're not there anymore so they're gone close this and I'm gonna close that and it looks like the easy web design tutorials is up and running